Okay, this is a conversion I've done on a, a brand new Mercedes Sprinter, medium wheelbase. I don't know if you can see the, the height of the wheel arches, but this is a 4 before model as well. I have a quick walk around. Um, this is what I would probably class as like a, a semi stealth camper van. No windows, uh, but obviously fridge vents, water filler. No windows on the back. And then obviously you've got your, uh, your 240 hookup, your Truma exhaust, it's a combi so it works on electric and gas, and you've got the, uh, the onboard gas tank as well. I'm going to be doing a bit of a wild, a bit of wild camping, so let's go inside. It's, uh, it's quite a step up, obviously being a 4 before. Let's get inside. Look, it's a Sergeant system. Running all the electrics. This is a customer's own design. He's come up with this. This is what he wanted. He's got over, over 6 foot in bed length. And that base slides forward and the backrest drops down to make his bed up. He's got a three burner, we've got a grill and oven feature in there as well, sink and drainer and a big 80 litre fridge, quite a lot of storage in here as well, all those bits, draw some more storage down here. There's quite a bit of storage under the bed as well, even though we have got a combi boiler in there. Um, he's obviously his, uh, his electrics and his, his battery in there. Camp seats are upholstered, uh, both on swivel bases to, to open up the, the living area a bit more. Uh, he's got the, uh, the nice Remis cab blinds on this one. Which are a nice touch, especially at night. And obviously it does the same on the front and on the other side as well. Okay, on the back we have show compartment with the uh, toilet as well. I'll see if I can get in here. Show tray, toilet, tip up sink, vanity unit, show a riser up there. I've got a turbo vent in the, in the roof. Get the steam out. On this side, we've got his his wardrobe, which is quite a big size wardrobe actually. And underneath, which uh, he's got another storage compartment under here, and we've got an internal fresh water tank, which is carrying about 125 liters, which is is massive really. But with him doing the wild camping, he's going to need it. Uh, we've got top lockers all the way around over the kitchen, and all the way down here as well and over the cab and he's got a waste tank underneath sockets 240 and uh, 12 volt there his control panel here for his uh, his combi unit uh, USB and 240 down there, he's blown our outlets he's got two, let's see if we can uh, go under and have a look uh, water pump, there's gas, so that's his combi boiler all this plumbing his electrics and his uh, his battery box. Let's go and have another look around the back. Oh, gas barbecue point there on the outside. There's storage for his table as well at the back. I'll show this one at the night time as well to show how good the lights are at the back. Okay, this is the back of the uh, the camper van. Um, this gentleman's going to be using it uh, to store his mountain bikes and any any other off-road equipment that he uses. Uh, there's plenty of storage in the back, uh, as you can see on the back doors. Uh, we've got uh, two removable shelves, uh, which is requested. Uh, you can see the storage box uh, fits in there nice, as it does on the top as well. But uh, I would think the uh, the storage boxes will be removed from the majority of the time anyway for his equipment.